Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to discuss the problem 1s and zeros. index number is 474 and the problem is of medium type of lead code. Okay, so let's discuss the problem now. We have been given an array of binary strings and the two integers m and n and we have to return the size of the largest subset of the array of strings from the array of the strings such that there will be at most m zeros and n ones in the subset. Okay. And here is the subset definition is given. Okay. Now, frankly speaking, when I first read this question, it has been like I am confused at a time. Why? The very uh, frequent question. Because you can easily see there are at most m zeros and at most n ones in the subset. Uh, basically, it is talking about the uh, the total count of ones in the strings that is from all of the strings in my current chosen subset. That is the overall count. And uh, it is not the count of the only a particular string. It is the count of the all of the strings of the entire uh, in my current subset. Okay. So this is the basic uh, confusing part. Okay. We have to return the size of the largest subset of this string so that this condition holds. Okay. Let's now move further to example. These are the two examples given. I'm going to discuss that also how the answer is coming and what should be the best approach and efficient solution relating to, related to this problem. Okay. Let's look over the constraints now. Because the very important part of this problem lies over that uh, when we look over the constraints, we can have an idea of what type of solution this problem wants from us. Okay, so you can easily see uh, the strings array of strings length can vary up to 600, and it is very small amount, and m and n goes up to 100. Okay, so we can have a solution like uh, this length into this m and into this n because the total number of iterations will still uh, less than equal to 10 power 7, and it is good enough for having the solution to be passed in this problem okay so we can have a solution like o of length into m into n okay we can think like that okay for now let's move further to understand this problem and anal analyze with the help of the example how we can proceed further in this problem okay so let's move further so here you can see i have taken a uh, example where a number maximum number of zeros can go up to 5 and maximum number of ones can go up to 3 okay so first let's figure out what is happening here so let's uh, we have to choose some of the strings such that this condition holds let's try to choose this string and let's try to choose this string and let's try to choose this string so if we try to choose three strings then what would be the total number of ones uh, count in the chosen strings you can see here it comes one one and here it comes four and it will come out to be total number of one count is six and total number of zeros count is 1 and 3 and and 2 and it's coming out to be 6 you can see this is not satisfying this condition so it is false we cannot choose this subset of strings and what about choosing the strings like uh, okay uh, choose this string choose this string and this one and this one if you are going to choose this string total number of ones count will come out to be 3 and total number of zeros count will come out to be 1 plus 3 4 plus 1 5 yes it is satisfying this condition total number ones count is 3 which is less than or equal to 3 and 5 is also less than or equal to 5 yes we can choose a four uh, number of strings equal to 4 so our maximum number of chosen strings is 4 our answer is 4 in this case okay so can we think of a brute force approach no we cannot we this is going to be like you are going to think like brute force approach in this problem then it will be sin for you why? Because if you are going to choose one sub, choose one string, choose any of the two two strings, choose any of the three strings, and the uh, maximum length is going to uh, up to 600, then it will all, always obvious that uh, uh, we are having a TLE verdict. So okay, so can we think of a greedy approach that is sort on the basis of number of ones and start picking from number minimum number of ones like that? Okay, uh, let's try to figure out. Uh, let's try to think with the help of example. Okay, I'm going to take this example. Okay, so let us uh, check it out if this is going to be fine or not. Okay, I have this example and let's try to figure it out if uh, greedy approach is going to work fine in this case or not. Okay, if we are going to sort on the basis of number of uh, uh, zeros, let's try to uh, have the minimum number of zeros like this one. Uh, I am going to choose this element. Let's choose this element. Then I, after choosing this element, we have number of ones as one, number of uh, zeros as zero. Yes, this is satisfying this condition. Let's try to pick up the next choose n one. That is this one. Then the number of ones becomes 
two and number of zeros uh, will be like one. Can it satisfy this condition? No, it doesn't satisfy this condition. So, what is the maximum number of chosen elements? This one, only one. But our answer is two. We can choose these two elements. So, how we are going to identify that? What should be the best approach to think for this problem? I, I am sure that and greedy approach will fail here because we are not aware that which elements will choose because the here the parameters are lying like depending on two things number of ones and number of zeros and we are unaware that which uh, which uh, strings we are going to choose will uh, minimize the count such that it will be at most m number of zeros and n number of ones okay let's try to generalize this case okay so let's think like of approach like dynamic programming so if you are uh, if you are start thinking like the approach of dynamic programming then it will be much easier to understand this problem interpret what is happening here in this problem okay so let's uh, find it out what should be the prerequisite to solve this problem efficiently with the help of dynamic programming okay okay you can see uh, we have to here we have we are going to think for the two parameters at most m zeros and at most n ones okay suppose uh, we have been given a array and uh, we have been given for every uh, let's say we have three elements one element a second element and third element and for every element we have two pairs we have a pair like uh, first element of the pair is going to denote uh, the value and second element of the pair is going to denote the weight basically i'm going trying to explain the knapsack problem okay of the dynamic programming and second element will be again v2 value comma weight and third problem is again value comma weight so if we have been asked to find out what should be the maximum value we can get by putting these knapsack weights and having at most w weight so it is the standard problem knapsack problem then what we are going to do is just maintaining a dp array we can do a 2d dp array where we can we can have a maximum of like uh, number of elements that is n plus 1 and uh, maximum number of weight we can get w and w plus 1 okay and we are trying to figure it out what should be the maximum weight so what we are going to do just uh, think like a uh, uh, dynamic programming approach that is for every i from 1 to n uh, we, would, we would think like that uh, we are start uh, proceeding j from 1 to w and we will like uh, uh, let's try to choose this element that is that is if you are going to choose this element uh, then we will be like if this weight is going to be uh, uh, less than equal to j then only we can choose this element okay if it this weight is going to uh, be less than equal to j then we are going to choose this element then what is the maximum value uh, that we can uh, maximum value of uh, this one dp of i that is choosing this element and with the weight value equal to j would be maximum of this current value plus maximum of if this is not chosen i minus 1 and j minus current weight it should be like that and what about if this j is going to be less than my current weight it would be like just don't choose this element so dp of ij will be like maximum of dp of would be like simply just uh, fill up the my current answer as dp of i minus 1 and it will be like j if j is going to be less than strictly less than my current weight w2 okay just simply like that but here we have uh, not only a single parameter like the knapsack problem in the knapsack problem you can find the only single parameter is uh, capital w we want at most w weights okay but in my actual problem in this problem of the lead code you can find we want x actual m number of zeros and n number of ones here we are going we are here we are we have to think like uh, dynamic programming with two conditions and what are the conditions we have at most n zeros and n ones and uh, for this we have to uh, in spite of maintaining a 2d dp array we must have to maintain a 3d dp array to solve out the problem efficiently okay so let's try to figure it out how we are going to do this okay so for now let us let me raise this stuff over there and let's try to write some pseudo code for this dp relation okay so you can see i will have like uh, just maintain a 3d dp and it would dp of size would be like uh, array of strings size 
that is n plus 1 for convenience I, have, I am going to maintain an extra size and for having m plus 1 because the indexes are going to be start with 0 I, I would be like at most maintaining at most m 0 so I would like maintain n plus 1 size and n plus 1 once I would be like 3d dp and for every i I am going to check i from 1 to n uh, we are going to just check if I am going to choose this element or uh, that is we are going to check two conditions if I am going to choose this element or if I am not going to choose this element okay when I am going to choose this element so okay let me write for in some simple case I start from g from 1 to m and from k from 1 to n that is for every i I am going to check if this j is going to satisfy the condition or if this k is going to satisfy condition. So I have, I have basically nested loops, three nested loops and I am going to check for current value of i, j and k if I am going to check first, firstly I am going to count the number of ones and number of zeros in my current ith string ok. So if I have already counted it would be like uh, what should be my current answer that is current answer of like dp of i j and k uh, it would basically signify what is the maximum number of items maximum number of length of subset we can choose by having the ith uh, by by not choosing this ith string and with j as the number of maximum number of zeros and k as the maximum number of ones it would if i am not going to choose this one how I might this would my this dp of i j k would be assigned as dp of i minus 1 and j and k simply ok and uh, what if I am going to choose this element that is choose this current string ok so if I am going to choose this current string it basically signifies if after choosing this string it would satisfy that is m should be greater than or equal to 0 n should be greater than or equal to 0 ok so it means that uh, my current uh, j should be like greater than okay should be like greater than or equal to the number of it is simply if I am going to write it for m number of zeros my j should be greater than equal to number of zeros and what should be my k and note that I need to maintain the and condition and k should be greater than equal to number of ones then only I can choose this string okay otherwise we cannot choose this if I am going to able to do this then my answer would be like dp of i j and k would be maximum of this value and dp of if I am going to choose this string my answer would be like dp of i minus 1 and j minus zeros and again k minus 1s because I have already uh, chosen these stuffs that is chosen these amount of ones and chosen these amount of zeros ok so k minus number of ones so this is my basic dp and and what should be our answer finally our answer finally should be maximum value of entire 3d dp which anyone anything can be our answer so i need to take the maximum also ok so let's head over to the code and find out how we can implement this in a better way ok so basically this pro this problem is the variation of knapsack problem standard knapsack problem of the dynamic programming ok so let's head over to the code ok so you can see I have uh, ok so let us code it out as fast as possible so let me write a uh, length as uh, ok so I need to write len as ok so I am not convenient with length so let me take as std it will be a strs dot size and uh, let me maintain a dp array would be like dp 3d dp would be like s z plus 1 and again I need to have like m plus 1 I need to have like n plus 1 ok and let us uh, fill with uh, default value meme set and it would be like uh, uh, ok so ok in spite of doing that uh, let us iterate and fill it up I can use the meme set also but I do not I am not convenient with this ok so j is less than ok so j less than equal to m and j plus plus and also k is 0 and k less than equal to n and k plus plus this dp of i and dp of j 
and dp of k is going to be 0 okay you can have also used the meme set size of dp uh, terms like uh, but uh, the time but it would also take this execution time okay so let's try to fill up the dp 3d dp uh, okay so i need to iterate from int i equals 1 i less than equal to sz and i plus plus I need to comment it down here, fill up the 3D DP table, okay. So how we are going to do that? So it is simple, just uh, let's count the number of 1s and zeros first. Number of 1s will be count of str s of i minus 1 dot begin and str s of i minus 1 dot end. And it will be like 1 and what should be the number of zeros it would like it would be like strs of i minus 1 dot length minus number of ones present in it okay let's try to fill up for every i for every j less than equal to m and for every k less than equal to n okay and i need to have a like nested loop over here Oh, okay so k should be start from 1 because n and m are greater than equal to 1 and i need to increment k every time okay what if i doesn't choose in, uh, doesn't choose the current string so if i am doesn't cho choosing the current string would my answer would be like dp of i j and k would be like uh, dp of i minus 1 and j and k and what if uh, uh, okay so check if uh, if we can choose the current string or not so i'm going to just check it out if my current string can be chosen or not so if j should be greater than equal to ones and okay so j should be greater than equal to zeros i think this should be because j is for m and uh, k should be greater than equal to once then dp of i i need to take the maximum basically i j and k should be like maximum of dp of i j and k and uh, just uh, remove considering this element should be like dp of i minus one and j minus number of ones and also k minus number of zeros i think i have already done a mistake over here I should have to write j minus number of zeros okay so yes this is fine but I need to take the maximum always answer equals max of answer and dp of i j and k and I need to return the answer finally so let's return the answer but still I haven't defined my answer by default so i need to write answer as zero okay yes it is good runtime is 124 ms faster than it person solutions okay so if you have any doubts do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video